So, for those of you who haven't seen this, and for those of you who haven't, like, saw the awareness of what's happening, of stuff that we all know and love within a any community. Think of any community that does ROMs, does the downloading of them, putting them in the emulator. We all know that it's Dolphin and Vim's Lair, right? So, um, before we continue on this, I really want to kind of clarify that, um, I really want to clarify that this is nobody's, uh, hatred to towards Nintendo, Sega, Lego, or any other companies that are trying to sue, sue Vim, Vim's Lair or any other, or any other company out there that is trying their best to keep maintain of their own ways, okay? But this is my video version of all of this, of what is, has been going down, what has been going on, and yeah. So for those of you who haven't seen recently, Delta is the new emulator that just came out. It was great, not gonna lie. However, as I've been seeing throughout May and June, as of recently in this month, the day before June 7th, let's start let's start getting this one out of the way. Before June 7th, when my power started to go out, Nintendo was behind of the DCM DCMA of the lawsuit on Vim's Lair to take down all the Nintendo content, Sega content, Lego content, and ESA, ESA content off of Vim's Lair's website. And I'm showing it on screen. That's exactly what happened. And I see a lot of people are sad about this. I have seen myself earlier sad about this once I saw it. And from May, what, what makes me sad to see this going is this, the creative stuff of Nintendo base wise that's from Gmod is also got removed due to the due to Nintendo and this is basically what I'm afraid of for everybody to, that's gonna get affected by this and this is huge to see but let's start from the very beginning so right, right around when Delta came in then uh, Apple decided to finally w let emulators go onto their app store, which is pretty awesome. It's pretty great to see that change. But when Delta came in, this is where Nintendo was furious. I mean it. Seriously. This is where Nintendo's like, oh my god, this is... I can't take it anymore. You know what I mean? And I know who exactly who I'm going to talk... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. I'm getting too... I'm getting too uh, fiasco going on here. You guys know exactly who I'm talking about. Who's behind within Nintendo. And we should know who made Nintendo anyway. But, or keep on the legacy of Nintendo, basically. As a big lead. I said the word two times. Uh, anyway. So, right after that happened, it went wild on the speculation. Also, just to let you guys know, this has happened before. Even after Gmod has been removed, the module content, as well as um, as well as Vim's Layers content that has the Nintendo stuff, I'm gonna say this in general. What makes it more? Oh my god! What makes it more infuriating is the fact that. This has happened before by two creators. One is more obvious one, but one I have to take this as an account, and he's in within the community server that you guys all may know know him from. First, let's take the obvious one out, SML's content. The reason why that he got sued entirely and got copyrighted and his channel was banned off the YouTube platform is because of using the Nintendo Mario characters. Specifically, all Nintendo characters in plushies. Like, that's fine. Like, you can just do all that, but then I did not notice that they took very much action on SML. And to me, I was like, that is crazy to me. 
But then when actually happened, it made it where they have to switch into more original character, more original characters that kind of look similar to Nintendo's characters, but not as much, if that makes more sense. This, this is basically, I do not want to happen, do not have to happen with the two characters that I have that's from Stone of Bronzer. I didn't mention their name before, but it's not directly from Nintendo's names, okay? Put this, put this out there. I'm just putting it out there. I'm putting it out there because it, it makes me kind of worried about those two characters, and then I have to end up changing their name for whatever reason because of this, but we don't know. But, like I was saying... After that happened, that's when GMod Mario content, or rather Nintendo content, is gone. And now this, Vim Slayer's content of the Mario games that we know love, to in order to get off from, is gone. Now, I know for a fact it is illegal to ROM the actual games. I truly understand it for a lot of people. And the some that I have saw within videos and the searches on YouTube. But again... All comes down to is the fact that I'm not I'm not like on either side I'm just kind of concerned of what happens if there's a war going going down and yeah so we got SML out of the way let's take Hazara I think that's his name I'll place it in the trust the uh, screen if you guys don't know he's the creator of the Mario and the animatronic horror a parody game that is pretty much like Mario and FNAF mixed together basically so Mario goes in the FNAF place and figures out the clues and the story behind the children that got killed everybody should know about that so yours truly knows about it too but once after it got taken down he made a video about it as well Hopefully, I can put it up on the screen, too, if my future self does that. But, then he ends up remaking it for some odd reason, which I have no clue why. But, all I can say from here, what makes it sad, is the fact, is due to those two example events, I think it's happening now to be repeated. Like I said about the, about the last video that I made... The final curtain, like, I don't want my controversy to be doomed to repeat itself. Well, with the stuff that I mentioned, due to Gmod removing Mario content and Nintendo content, content including Vim Slayer's content of Nintendo-wise, it is doomed to repeat itself again due to this. Again, this is basically my, my own reaction. Talking about this as a whole, I don't want to put it in chapters. Hopefully everybody understands exactly what I mean about this. But at this point in time, nobody wins. Like, either side, we can't win on either things. And if this war happens, it's going to go on forever. Who knows what year it's going to end. And the, I don't know. Because another thing I wanted to mention is that the reason why I don't want characters from either shows or games or, you know what I mean, into... Island Camp or any other type of story that I have, it is because of due to this. Due to this, it makes me, I don't want to do those content adding to the mix of the content that I make. So thank God, again, once again, thanks to Kevin Fan Animations to change me who I am, to not do copying wise, or use characters, or, you know what I mean. But parody, another thing is, is also adding to the mix because it works in this way, in this way that works in a lot of ways but again i don't know i don't know what's going to happen after all this all right because nobody has the answers until we find that out later on what's going to happen after this effect but put it this way what makes it worse is the fact that that we cannot win until we win this war this upcoming or already upcoming war that's already established in the center in the center ways now the reason why I don't want to do the content of st of those that you see that's within throughout the YouTube's history or any other 
content of social wise, okay? It is because of I don't want to get copyrighted immediately or get sued by the companies, especially Nintendo in this case. So thank God that I learned from Kevin Fan Animations to not to be doomed in order to, to copy again, if that makes more sense. But again, this is, looks like an end of an era. Think of um that we thought that YouTube was gonna end on a doomed note on a copper. It's not exactly it, but we'll see. Who knows? But also, besides this, the 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 person who's behind it didn't know that everybody should know is Miyamoto. I'm gonna say his last name. I can't pronounce his first name. I'm sorry. Okay. The reason why he's behind all this is because he doesn't want any of the content that's branched branched out of the Nintendo verse of their own home space all right to be uh to be used if that makes more sense and i understand with miyamoto in this case but also at the same time you got to think about the parody the parody works in a lot of occasions okay but at the same time what makes it worse is that this is the worst put it put it this way think of susan w from the previous ceo of youtube but on a higher level scale with Miyamoto. With Miyamoto, he has the ability to do something that's way more chaotic than what Susan does when she was CEO of YouTube. Now we have Nolan, who is the new CEO. I'm not too sure. I don't know why we switching into just YouTube, but I'm giving as an example why. But to recap all of this, I hope that this doesn't end like a full-on uh, collision war where it's parody, creativity, and even the companies themselves battle out each other until who wins. Because cause I don't know what ends up happening, and hopefully we do not get into this full on war but it's already happened for those of you who wanted to put that in, in the comments I don't care as long as put it this way I'm not either side of like illegal wise or legal wise of stuff that is wrong wise okay all that matters is like as long as there's no issues and there is issues <laughs> unfortunately so I can't stop this put it this way I cannot stop this Luigi Kid Gaming if you guys don't know he cannot stop this um, SMG4, he cannot stop this. And even Hezra, who created Mario in an animatronic order, he cannot stop this either. So I'm thinking, like, the only thing we have to do is create something that is original. I'm going to keep you guys out there. Keep, um, I'm going to give you guys that out there. Keep on doing what you're doing that is create original stuff. Like, think of Isla Camp. It's inspired by Total Drama. But at the same time, it's not like a direct ripoff or using the characters within from Total Drama to Isla Camp, which makes no sense. But other than that, this is the this is the end take. I don't think there's no no edit video or editing of the video in here. But if you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, I'm gonna provide links into the description of what's happening in this case, and hopefully you guys understand a lot of this again this is my own take about this this is my version of all of this and hopefully things cannot go bad thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys all in gaming revelations again and i'll see you guys until then stay fresh everybody